Well, what's up guys, it's Daniel43 doing another video on my channel. Today we're going to be going out figure hunting, turn not figure hunting actually, this is more of a special 300 video. Because we're going to actually be going to meet the voice actor of Sarda to get our figure signed, which I have with me and I'll showcase when inside, if they let me. If not, you'll see the signature, but we're going to go meet in signature, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for 300. And if you guys could, make sure to like and subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. As of the video, we're already at 306, which is even more than what I was at, what I expected. So, I appreciate that. So, yeah, so we're going to be going inside to try to get it signed, and, you know, I'll try to showcase if I can. I appreciate it. I just don't want to, like, just voice course. recordings, huh? That you have to pay a little extra for. Well, yeah, I don't need that. I just, yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> I just like having signed. It's so cool. Of course, it's so cool. yes. On the It was a pleasure okay. to meet you guys. It was very nice meeting and you. And to get to sign this pop. I have mine that I ordered waiting for me at home. I haven't gotten to see it yet. Are you serious? Really? Yeah. I've been out of town for the last couple of weeks, so it That's showed fair. up at my house, I think, two or three days ago. So when I saw they were here, I was like, oh my gosh, I get to see how cool it looks. It's so cool. I appreciate this. I'm so this. excited. That's so cool. So many she did play voices. a lot of characters. So many different characters. Well, thank you. It's crazy. All sorts of characters. Yeah, this is my favorite character, of yeah. course, but... I love her so it's much. It's so cool. Somebody told me she's too powerful, and I said, is that a bad thing? <laughs> no, no that's never a bad thing. Yeah. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Nice to meet hey, have a good day. Thank you, Look you at that. too. I got that signed. So when I get home, I'll show you guys. That is awesome. There we go. I have to redo that all over again. Why? That's crazy. That clicker's cool. That death stroke? I have to repeat. Such a great figure. I wish they would have done a better Last of Us wave. But then the show came out, they never gave us another wave. Which is kind of lame. But if I get to another section, I'll show you guys. I had to film like three different times because it doesn't want to go the right direction. It's been an anime kind of day. Look at Sonami. We can't beat Sonami. Sonami's a go. Especially if we haven't seen very much of him. Right. Yeah. Mr. Hippo. So yeah, so it's also say the Pluto, which is cool. So when I get to another or the house, I'll show you guys what I end up picking up. But it's all pretty, really cool stuff. That's what I thought. Oh, look, London Vitruvius. Look at that fruit basket one. Really? Look at that Michael Jordan. I think I actually already have that Michael Jordan, actually. Bill Cipher. Kakashi. I like Kakashi's cool. All the uh, Pokemon ones. And if you wanted to see like Battle Levi over there. And the Tondra. And the Midnight. And all the other cool ones. There's some actually really, like I said, nice ones. So now when I get to that, I thought it was done. But now when I get to that, I'll show you guys what I found. Alright guys, so we are back from the uh, couple places we ended up going. Which actually wasn't anywhere we went to. We basically went to go meet the voice actor of Sarda, which is her name was Jeremy Layup. Great meeting. It was awesome to see her. Meet her, I should say. And it was such a fun time. Me and my buddy went and we ended up, uh, I'll post, show the two pictures we took with her because it was cool. And she was such a nice person to meet out of like, because so far I've met Eric Vale, which if you didn't know, he plays Sanji, Trunks, and Yuki from Fruit Baskets. Probably some other characters too. And he was such a nice guy to meet too. And now I met Sherry Leia, which basically played Sarda. I think she plays Kimi, I think, from Fruit Baskets. And she plays Pixie Bop, I think, or something like that from My Hero, or something like that. She plays a bunch of characters. It was really awesome to meet her. She also plays, I think, the Ladybug from uh, Ladybug and Cat Noir. Cool. I saw the picture of it. And yeah, so she was really nice to meet her. She was really cool. After we turned the camera off, she was actually really nice to talk to. She didn't, like, rush you or nothing. She had answered all the questions, was happy to talk to. And she was a really nice person. So... With that being said, I'm going to showcase what we found, because afterwards, they also had, like, a little bit of boost for, like, kind of, like, to go look at and pick up pops and all that other stuff. So, we'll start off with just showcasing off the sign, now that you can actually see it, and I'll have the close-up, just a nice, so you can actually see what it says and read it. And, yeah, that was awesome. She signed my figure. It's already in the pop box, and I'm going to probably keep it there forever, because I don't want to ever get it ruined, but it just looks perfect. I'm very happy. I almost might update to a hard stack, just to make sure it never really doesn't get damaged. But, you really can't beat that, that's awesome. I appreciate her for signing, so thank you very much. I know she's not going to watch this video, but I appreciate it anyways. And we also, because of, we were, the reason we did all this was, one, she was coming to my area. Two, uh, it's because we also hit 300 subscribers, so thank you guys so much for that too. You should see all the balloons and pop-up and all the excitement just now. 
Because, yeah, we hit 3 That's awesome. We're actually at 308 as of right now. I know in the intro I say something different, but 308 or 309, one of the two. And I think 309. And I do appreciate it. Really awesome. You guys are a great community. I'm so happy we passed it. We're clearly going up, and it's just going to keep going higher and higher. We're not stopping here. So I do appreciate it. So that's what I showcased because that was the specialty because I decided to go get it signed for you guys to see and add to the collection as a special because, you know, it's 300 subscribers, and that's cool. So now we'll showcase the stuff I ended up picking up, and this is just regular stuff. So that's what we'll talk about because there's quite a few to what we've talked and, you know, about what we did. And I think we'll start off with, yeah, we'll start off with Sasuke, which right here, you guys should see the close-up right about now. And I actually got this figure for only 10 bucks, which is such a great deal because it regularly goes for like 23 And the guy, I think, just wanted to get rid because he was like, hey, I'll give you a good deal. He was like, I'll do 10 bucks, And that, you can't beat that, especially for this figure. Such a nice figure. Perfect. Also, with the whole fact that I got the Sarda signed, it helped that I got a Boruto one. And I'd love to finish all of the Boruto ones. When I do that, though, is, you know, beyond me. Cause I'm really glad I got Boruto. I'm glad I got all these fig this figure because it was awesome. It's also a Chalice Collectibles exclusive, which is cool. And, yeah, this figure looks great. This is, like, his more adult version, and I love it. It's just a perfect figure. And that's just, you know, how can you really beat that? I guess I could have left Sarda up here, too. That two great figures, which helps, again, because of meeting her. And, yeah, she was such a nice person to me. It was so cool. <laughs> Which then leads us over to the next figure I ended up picking up, which is going to be Rock Lee, the Hot Topic exclusive version, to be exact. And I finally was able to get one, which you, I think you should see the close-up right about now, I think I said that. I was able to actually get a good box version, finally, for reasonable. Because every time I've seen it, it's I've seen it a couple times, and I think you guys have seen it in footage, but the box is always either dented or creased or stuff like that, where it's just not in good condition, and I just don't... I don't enjoy it because I'm like, I don't want to buy it if the box is really bad. But this box is like in really good condition. And the figure looks perfect. And it's elite. And it's a Hot Dog exclusive. And I'm very happy with it. Because you really can't go wrong. It's such a good figure. It also, technically I would need to get, I think I only have Naruto from this wave. I would need Gara, Orochimaru, and Tsunade. Common Tsunade. Because I actually don't have Common Tsunade. I have the, uh, I don't remember where she's exclusive to, but I have the... I think it's the, the AAA anime one. I think she's exclusive to. As, I'm, as my sister, you guys didn't hear, but my sister told me if the, um, I think it's the 100 or 1000 healing, the rebirth, Rene rebirth, the jutsu, or something like that. Something along the lines of that. And that's the version I have. So yeah, this is Rock Lee. Now I definitely have to pick up that Mike guy I always see, but Mike guy's a common, which is weird, because Lee's not a common. And I feel like this Lee looks so much better than the Mike guy one. And I don't know why, what the difference is or why. But he just looks so much better compared to uh, the, the Mike guy. And I'm still going to get Mike guy because now I have Lee. You can't have Mike guy without Lee. Or you can't have Lee without Mike guy. One of the other way. And technically I do have a Mike guy actually. I have eight inner gates when he's doing the final, the eighth gate. So technically I do have a version of it. I just need the regular one and all the new exclusives that are coming out. Because, you know, SDCC and all the other crazy stuff. But these are the two ones or these are the ones that I got. And then the last one I ended up having is going to be the... Tanjiro and Uro Kodaki 2-pack, which you should see the close-up right about now. And this is such a nice set of figures. This is a double figure set that's beautiful. Like, you have Tanjiro doing... This is at the very beginning when he's doing, like, barely learning water breathing. You have Uro Kodaki when he's training him. And it just looks so... For a 2-pack, beautiful. It's a perfect 2-pack. Like, I literally can't say anything against it. I'm getting closer to... And my goal at some point, obviously, is to get every Demon Slayer figure out there. And I think I could do it. I think. You know, with all these conventions and stuff, I'm hoping I can get it. Because I'm, like, 11 away or something like that. 11 or 12 away. And it's just certain ones that are harder to find. Or certain ones I just don't know. Because, like, Rengoku, it's a glow-in-the-dark Walmart one. And Walmart never stocks them. So to buy that, I'd have to buy it from somebody that has it a little bit higher priced. Uh, I also need Rui from the GameStop. It was a glow-in-the-dark. I need... There's a Metallic Nezuko. There's... Uh... There's a there's quite a few and technically also if I decide to get like the six inch like little ones like Nezuko in a box or Nezuko in a basket but I don't know if I ever I don't know if I get those yet it's kind of like a hit or miss if I decide to get those but great figures I'm glad I got all of these these are such nice figures especially these ones I love the Demon Slayer figures and I've been enjoying the whole Demon Slayer like wave I mean besides the new ones that are coming out I wish they would update though one thing I will say I wish Funko would do season two or season three. 
and not even technically season three because technically they count they count Mugen Train as a movie. So any of the new ones basically because there's so many cool characters that like I don't know why Uzui doesn't have a fungal pop. I don't know why they haven't done like the wives. They haven't done some of the demons on there. It's kind of weird that they they're just really sticking to season one. And I I mean. When you get figures like this, I'm okay with it. But then they give figures that are like side characters and you're just kind of questioning why. But I did, besides that, this was cool, great stuff. Now I just need for the bar to wave. I would need another Sarada technically because I probably will get another Sarada since this one's signed and I won't, I'm not going to take this one out of box. This one's going to stay in box. Uh, there's also the 6-inch Barry in Monaruto. The only one I have technically, I guess, would be Mitsuki because I do have Mitsuki from this wave. Uh, and yeah. And I would have had Sarda, but again, I'm not going to... Again, once you have it like this, you keep it like this and keep it as a prized possession, which I just love. And yeah, so overall, that was really the highlight. We met her. She was awesome. Quality stuff. She was really nice. Then we had the convention little area, which was really cool too. And then after that, there was just, you know, we chilled. We had fun. And that was really about it. Oh, this convention was a really... I'm glad we did it for my 300 special. Because I know somebody wanted to see my collection. But I might do that as just a separate video altogether. So you guys will definitely see my collection at some point. Don't worry. I will do a video like that. It just wasn't the 300 special. Because this, you know, came up. And yeah. Now you have... Wednesday and Friday, I have some pretty fun videos for you guys. Wednesday, you're going to you get to see my Barbie review and the Oppenheimer review. Because I did go watch Oppenheimer. But I'm saving it for Wednesday's video to talk about it. So you're not going to hear me talk about it today. Because of the fact that I felt like they're two really solid movies. I haven't seen Barbie yet, but I've seen Oppenheimer, and that was a great movie. But I, I won't talk about it right now. I'll talk about it for Wednesday's video. And then Friday, we also have a special guest that's going to be coming on the channel. You guys will not know, but I'll give you guys a hint, you know, coming along the week. And then besides that, we're going to be doing some fun stuff on that video. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Again, thank you guys so much for 300. And my question of the day is simply going to be, who is your favorite voice actor? And why? I don't know why, but who's your favorite voice actor? Out of all the voice actors that are out there that do these, like, animation voices, uh, I don't know who. I think I really do like uh, Inosuke's voice actor, which is Bryce. I don't know how to say his last name. I think it's Papen, Paper, Paper Brock, Paper Brock, Paper Brock, whatever. How you ever say his last name? And he's such a great voice actor. I would love to meet him. There's also a Levi's voice actor I'd love to meet. There's a lot of great voice. I'd also love to meet, uh, I don't even know what I was going to say. There's all sorts of voice actors. So that's my question of the day. Who's your favorite voice actor for what character? And yeah, I do really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And I will see you guys in Wednesday's video. Peace.